Hi, this is not a game dev vlog. Every Sunday Kino hosts viewer lobbies on his stream where uh, he comes up with creative restrictions and packs and then around 60 of the players compete for the win basically. So in this pack the rule was uh, to only use pets that summon randomly. So uh, let me show you uh, the pack. That's Spider, uh, Stork, Eagle, <laughs> Orca and a Sabertooth Tiger. So you can uh, buy others uh, but you have to buy sell them um, because you can only use these pets uh, in fights. So the first turn of course, uh, yeah, <laughs> we cannot have any spiders but I did freeze two ferrets and, and you will see that here I get the third fairy and I get fa fairy ferret and I get uh, insanely lucky here. Um, let me speed it up a bit. Um, a lot of balloons uh, and I get this early spider so here of course um, I, I will most likely get a win because um, it could even go three turns without finding a spider uh, and I took the balloon so I can start scaling uh, scaling him as well um, the, the big difference between these fewer lobbies and same is for uh, one versus one uh, matches. It's not about winning, it's more about not losing, uh, if that makes sense. Um, um, and that, that tr changes strategies a bit. And also with any pack uh, in, in, in versus battles, uh, but especially with these uh, restricted uh, rules, it's very important to try to figure out what the end game will be. Um, most likely that the tier 6s and 5s will dominate and in this case especially of course uh, Orca, uh, yeah, Orca and Eagle are much much better uh, pets than Spider so you have to keep in mind that, that you want to get to those pets uh, in the end um, but we do have quite a big uh, Spider already so, so we keep winning very early and I think Kino um, made the packs such that, that the pets that you can uh, summon are, are the interesting ones. And it also allows for some pilling in the shop strategies like we build a beta fish here uh, and we do it again. So actually we're scaling quite, quite fast I'd say. And, and Spider is the worst one of the whole uh, uh, random summoners because it will always keep summoning there are three pets, but stats are always still very good. Um, so let's see here. We, yeah, we take the win quite easily still. Um, and because because we play, uh, yeah, I don't know the exact count. The max is 64, and it's always between about 50 and 64 players. So the game will also go quite late uh, as well. You do uh, need a little bit of luck, but also uh some some strategy yeah well that that's the whole whole game in a nutshell so we're going to see a lot of uh long fights as well so that that's not a thing so it goes on a timer which is for me very different because normally i play very relaxed and i use the replays uh like here let's see if we can level up into the no we cannot i could have used the turkey for some more stats don't know why i didn't do that but i used the um, the blue ringed octopus. So I tried to see if I could also go for a very early uh, eagle with the level up, but I didn't. And they have the, <laughs> the doggo spawn as well. So every food is allowed, every health food is allowed, every toy is allowed. Um, as long as you don't have the other uh, pets in the shop, uh, in the in the fight. So here I keep the, the stork separated. I could have tried again for the early eagle, but I think I go for the early orca. And here we face a sloth. So that's the, the only other rule. Sloths count as any animal, and that's that's always very fun. And and with these big lobbies, actually it, it happens quite often that, that one yeah, one person finds the sloth. And in this case, well, it's it's just, as always, it's just fun. But in some cases, with some very restricted rules, it can make a big difference. So here we try to level up into one of the tier 6 random spawn, uh, summoners, but we don't. I've been taking the, uh, what's he called? The alligator guy a lot for the melon, because it's a very early way. Here, I didn't find it very early, but it's a very early way 
to get melon without any uh, with just one raw basically so in other other packs i've been using it a lot uh so here I also i'm just going for the big spider that guy is not going away anymore i put all the stats i have found onto him so far so the melon is also nice i can mammoth pill here for more stats so i keep statting i think the strategies can vary you can also be very greedy and just save everything for when you find the better pet so it you could see it as a waste to stat these um, these lower tier pets because you're almost forced to keep them. But um, yeah, um, it, it's just a choice as well, and it depends on what you get in the store, in the in the shop. The Garyol. So <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Now I now I came up with it. We are still on five hearts, and as you can see, here's the whole lobby. There's only one, two, three, four people with five hearts left. Um, and a lot of people already start uh, getting knocked out, even on the early turns. Of course, somebody has to lose always. So now we have the melon here, and we found our find our uh, fifth uh, random summoner. But I do also want to find the orca as well. Um, it's not the goal; it's not the rule to get all five on board. But I think I'm not 100% sure that I end up with all the five different ones. Uh, of course. That's only because I put so much stats onto them. Um, and these fights, oh, that I think I was saying that these fights they can take quite long, and because you're on a timer, the timer starts uh, already ticking away. So maybe even putting your animation speed too low is a comp uh, competitional disadvantage. I have it always on uh, 150 percent, and that's one downside for me at least because I like to take my own uh, uh, time. But it's all also uh, fun, but it becomes a different game because you have the time pressure. You cannot think too long, and of course it wouldn't work, the whole format wouldn't work if there was no time limit. So more scaling here. Also the mushroom is a very important uh, part uh, of this whole, uh, of these battles, because then you can summon again, especially if you level up the, the things. And <laughs> you see these battles become more crazy and more crazy as we go on. Um, Orca is, is such a crazy pet. It's strong. Uh, it should be strong and it is strong. It's a tier 6 but it's so volatile uh, or something because you can also get the worst worst pets out of it and then it's even worse than the spider in some cases. So we go for more stats and one empty space is always nice in these kind of uh, uh, tournaments because then you can keep buy selling but we find the Orca here, which we will uh, start to integrate into our team. I took the TV here, so I do focus on stats and it uh, seems like it's paying off. But here they have just the better summoners as us. So let's see if we can still stay alive. We feed the Sabertooth here. So it doesn't look very good for us here, I'd say. Um, no, that, that will not be enough. So we take our first loss here against Skywave. I haven't been keeping attention. I seem to recall I also uh, uh, matched Kino in one of my fights, and sometimes my head works in the mysterious way that it will be the next fight. So, so let's see that. The spider is almost at 50-50, so it will uh, keep plowing. Of course, uh, keep plowing again uh, through a lot of summons. Of course, the the uh, anglerfish is also a very good pet in this because everything you can angle is legal. So that's just a free uh, level or experience point. Uh, we don't face Kino here, but I think we'll do take the win here because we still have a lot of pets in the back, although they do have a lot of health. Um, we summon the 10 tens, which also make a big difference. And you also have to think about uh, the ordering because at level three, the Orca will summon three pets and then you can mushroom it. So it, you need basically four spaces. So, so you need to put it in the back. But then maybe you want to put it more at the front or other, but yeah, so so it took a bit of, of puzzling under the, the, the time restrictions. So here they have the peanut, but it doesn't matter against our melon. So that, that is a very well uh, um, investment has been 
very well investment. Um, we spawn a lot of 10 tens, and I think again we take the win here. Oh, this is Kino here, so and he was on one heart, so <laughs> yeah, maybe if, if he he probably will not upload this one uh, because he doesn't didn't get uh, too far. Um, but maybe if you go back on his stream, then then you can see him uh, his reaction to him going out here. Of course, a lot of love for uh, what he does. I really like these streams. It's every for me for my time zone. It's every Sunday evening, and when I have the time, I really like uh, joining them and uh, and try to see how far I get. Because you you take pets that you uh, well maybe not here that you never take. He has all all kinds of ideas. Sometimes they're based on the types of pets. Sometimes on color. Sometimes uh, I, after this, I think he did. Just the turtle pack, but you can only use pets of the current tier. So you have to every two turns and sell your whole team until tier six. Um, so he has a lot of uh, interesting ideas, and we keep uh, summoning here and take the win with the nice bad dog here. And let's see where we are in the tournament. Around ten people left, and we're still on four hearts. So we're going very strong, and I'm not sure. What makes the difference? Again, the randomness factor is always there, but I think going for the big, big stats, yeah, it helps just trade out a lot of uh, pets, even though the summon of the spider is so bad. And they, these guys, or this enemy, Skywave again, has a large stork, and the stork summons, so he gets a very good round. The stork summons the eagle, and the eagle summons the Sabertooth, which sadly has no space to do anything, so that maybe makes the difference here. Let's see, although he does have the big, big Orca, so I don't see myself winning here. <laughs> As you can see, these fights are getting crazier and crazier. So now I think I'm looking a lot better. Yeah, and we do take the win. So that's another uh, victory here. There's not much we can do except leveling. I don't think there are a lot of stat foods. Oh, well, I saw pizza, I think, so can take a little bit of stats but leveling now is much more valuable and finding the right uh, health foods um, of course here for the stork another mushroom would be nice for more summons you see, <laughs> keep seeing the crazy sequences we have tapir as well which you almost can get into crazy cycles uh, and very long battles so probably this video will be longer as than normal as well and then you have the the beluga sturgeon who summons to the back and now they have the level 3 with mushroom, so no space. So, so because the mushroom summons to the front, the second level 3 doesn't matter. Um, and we do take the win here with two summons left still, and only five left. And we're the only one of four hearts, so let's go into the next uh, shop phase here. We reorder, so we have space for all the orca summons. We keep the strong guy at the front. Um, I, yeah, there's not much to roll for here. I, I like the lemon on my saber tooth, and uh, yeah, I like all health food. So now it's just finding levels or uh, a bit of stats. Uh, so maybe levels will make the biggest difference there. This guy has a lot of saber tooth tigers, and he gets some decent spawns out of the orca that will decide sometimes, but we just have bigger stats, more summons, and we take the wins against Mr. Beverages. And now we are uh, with the final two and I'm with, I'm with four hearts and you can uh, view your opponent as well. Let me show you. Um, so this guy is four squatted, but he has all the level three. So I was wondering why did he get so far? But he has one big unit and all level threes. So he did get very far. I'm, I don't like the part, especially with one, one versus one, where you can change around your team and try to predict. Some people like it a lot more than the arena, but I, yeah, then it becomes <laughs> too much of a puzzle for me. I just like going in and, and making focusing on my own team. So I didn't really try to predict or, or counter him, but I think my team is so strong that it doesn't even matter a lot so these are almost the worst uh things you could get out of the the uh eagle because they have no infight abilities niala is a very good um summon uh, though but yeah we are still very strong so we take the win here i think although 
you never know it is very big these 15 15s no we easily take the win we still have the level 2 orca in the back so i think we're going in the last fight here um we just keep buying some stats cornucopia for you never know we don't even need the mushroom and we cannot buy the chocolate anymore did he uh, manage to increase his team improve his team is he still f he is still four squatted so he didn't find anything uh, to buy into his fifth slot or he prefers to keep the slot open but for the last fight i would not recommend that um yeah here we get another fun sequence with the osprey <laughs> yeah it's so everything's flying around to get the uh, phoenix which is more chaos uh, let's see what's left over in the end yeah we still have so much left so we fight uh and we beat sleepy bird and we take the win against i, I don't know the exact count against 60 players so a uh, different end screen than the arena runs uh, here we can see all our fallen soldiers i saw Ki kino here uh, and a lot of other players so uh, if you like this video li like the video sorry for copying um, uh, comment subscribe um, and thanks for watching